you know, I, I thought our, our, our kids really um, came out of the gate a little different tonight where, you know, Mississippi State really came out and pressured us. Um, I thought we answered the bell there to close the quarter. I was really happy in the second quarter when we went into halftime with that lead on the way that we were defending and rebounding. Uh, you know, they did, they did a much better job in that second half on the glass. And that's what I talked to our kids about at halftime. Uh, you know, at halftime against Baylor, we had the rebounding advantage. Uh, and it was, a big, it was a big disparity. And today it was the same thing where we ended up losing the rebounding battle because of the second quarter. But I thought we did a really good job taking care of the basketball. Uh, we had a chance to, uh, to, to finish the game in the fourth quarter with some free throw opportunities with a sideline out of bounds. They did a good job switching that held us up. But, you know, you're at home over time, and um, we got some crucial stops. Questions for Coach Coach, what's just the magnitude of this win? Obviously, first top ten program that you guys have beaten in this in this school's history, but just the magnitude of it um, as a whole. Yeah, that's what that's what Mike Hogan. Uh, my illustrious sports information director brought up, you know, I, uh, we've had a lot of top 25 wins, but we've never had a you know, top five, top 10 win. And uh, I'm just happy for our players. I mean, this is, I've coached a lot of games, you know, uh, but this is something that for them, they're going to remember, you know, for the rest of their lives. Now we got a lot of basketball to play. Uh, it was a good win for our program. Uh, that's why we schedule this way. Uh, to have these opportunities, but you know, we just got to continue to improve. Um, we still got a lot of bad. It's it's great that we were able to schedule the way we scheduled and having Baylor and Mississippi State back to back. Um, still looking for a couple more scheduling opportunities, um, but you know what? Next week's final exams, and we'll get back to work. Coach Elisa Pinzon uh, struggled against Baylor and struggled early on in this game, but then she found her stride, um, almost getting herself a triple-double. Uh, what can you say about how she just finished out this game? You know, she was, you know, she was really uh, emotional after the Baylor game, um, you know, defensively and also offensively. Uh, but I, I thought today she managed the game really well. She uh, She drove me nuts when – you know, there was a foul, and she threw the ball to the back stand, but that didn't end up hurting us. Uh, but, you, I mean, you look at her stat line. She played 41, 42 minutes, and she had 14 points, 11 boards, and nine assists. Could have had a triple-double. Uh, you know, today at Sugar Round, she was pretty loose. And, uh, you know, she told me she, she was, uh, was going to play well tonight, and she did. Credit to her. Coach, I had to imagine there is a lot of emotion, like you said, after that Baylor game. But do you think that that kind of propelled this team into the way that they came out and finished things up tonight against Mississippi State? Yeah, you know, we were off on Wednesday, and uh, you know, I didn't like them very much on Thursday. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, uh, they were still, we were still reeling it a little bit emotionally uh, from the Baylor game, and we came back Friday, had a great practice. And, Today we had a great shoot around. Um, you know, you got to bounce back. Uh, when you have adversity, you know, the true character comes out. And uh, I'm just happy for them. And what was, what was your message to the team, I mean, before that second quarter? Because that just seemed to be where, I mean, things just like turned a corner tonight. I mean, the shots weren't dropping as well in the first <laughs> quarter as they did the rest of the game. So what was kind of your message to them to kind of help shift things up a little bit? Yeah, I just told them to settle down. Let's just let's just do what we practice every day. You know, keep these guys in front of us. Stay stay down defensively. Um, you know, we, we had our hands on ball handlers too much, which was very uncharacteristic for us. Uh, you know, and on the offensive end, run our stuff. Run our stuff and take high percentage shots. Mississippi State was just extremely, extremely uh, aggressive early on in that game. And, you know, you guys kind of matched that intensity in that second quarter. Um, 
did they kind of lose some steam later as, as the game went on and you guys kind of picked it up or or was it just matching that intensity? It wasn't a pretty basketball game on either end. I mean, we took 73 shots and shot 31% from the floor. We shot 71 from the free throw line. Uh, but if you're not, if the ball's not going in the basket, the one thing that you can do, you can take care of the basketball and you, you can, you can defend, right? You can defend and rebound. And that's how, that's how it turned out for us. Scored 67 points shooting 31% from the floor. So we got to be better on that side, but you know, Mississippi State's a very good basketball team. But you talked about that rebounding advantage. Of course, um, Mississippi State only getting those six offensive rebounds in the first half. Uh, also, they had that size advantage, too. How did you kind of manage that coming into this game? Well, we needed to get our guards to assist down there in the lane more and get down there and engage and provide help for our post players. Coach, can you just describe, I mean, the emotions that you saw from your team tonight at the, final, the clock's ticking down and just everyone kind of rushing onto the court and what things were like back in the locker room? Yeah, I, I mean, these guys really, you know, they're really, really good teams. They play for one another and they care about one another um, in an unbelievable fashion. And these guys, it's more than basketball with this team. You know, you know a lot of people talk about culture and team chemistry. Um, you, you, you play hard for the guy next to you. And um, that's what they did tonight. And it's great to see, you know, of course, the celebration and then the locker room and everything like that. Obviously, after that Baylor game, uh, Coach said you were uh, pretty emotional after it. You know, what did you do this week of practice to kind of get yourself ready for this one? Uh, maybe not even from a physical standpoint, but just emotionally. You know, it's one game at a time. Like, we could have won against Baylor, we didn't, and that's it, it's done. you got to think on the next one, and that's, that's what I did. I work on my shot throughout the week, and I knocked down some important shots today, free throw as well, and I just play my game. And as, like, at the beginning of the shoot-around today, I went to coach, and I'm like, I got you tonight. I got the double-double. And I went near to the triple-double, but I got the double-double, and that's what I told him, and that's what I've done. What were, what were the emotions tonight? I mean, obviously coming off that Baylor loss had to propel things into tonight, but in terms of like how the team came into this matchup, the attitude shift that took place between the first quarter and the second quarter, and then obviously leading at the half, like how did you kind of see things progress throughout the night from the team? We needed to do a great job in defense, and we work on little details that we, we did wrong against Baylor, and that, that's helped us to go – like make a better offense as well. And I think we started from the defense tonight and that's what keep us going. Mississippi State showed up kind of with a full, they showed a full court press at the beginning of the game and were really aggressive on the perimeter. Um, you know, how did you guys try and make shots? It looked like you guys were using a lot of pick and roll stuff, but just how were you guys trying to get open and, and shoot over the top of their defense? We knew that they were going to press and press us a lot, especially wings. And that's what we work through the week. We work on getting open and get, bring the demands down and then get open. So, and that's what we have done during this night. And that's helped us a lot to get open because they were denying a lot. And sometimes at the beginning, we speed up a little bit. That that's is not what we wanted. But then we understood that we need to play our games. And that's what we had done. Eddie, you guys had that uh, rebounding advantage in the first half. I think they only had six offensive rebounds. Um, obviously, they had a size advantage. What was, what was that plan uh, for you guys to deal with that size advantage? Uh, the plan is always the same. Help the post players inside because we were scared to be in full trouble. And we knew that they would take advantage of it. So we will try to to be the defense, I mean, to bully the defender before them to bully us. I mean, at time we could tell like we were in this advantage because of the size, but I think Shane and I and all the post players, we, we worked our ass off. I mean, we, we worked our hard, so yeah. Uh, you mentioned foul trouble. Uh, Robbie get, fouls out and Maria fouls out. 
shortly into overtime. Just how do you guys pick each other up after those two, you know, critical pieces of the puzzle go out? That's the one thing I love about this team because at the beginning of the season, we choose three words to represent the team, which are inseparable, trust, and work over talent. And this is what we did today. Uh, we had a lot of players. I think three of us were in full trouble at the first half. And we just kept, we just stayed together. We just try to keep, to stay positive. And I got to give a credit to E as a point guard. She's really trying to bring the, to keep the team together. So yeah, we stayed inseparable. In terms of celebrations, just how much this night means to you all, what's, what's your one takeaway? What's something that like, you're never going to forget about this night? First of all, uh, the f a fun fact about it is um, Mississippi State is one of the first team I ever know about when I was back in Belgium. And so for me, last year, I couldn't play against them because I was injured. So this year, I really wanted to beat them, and we did. So just the fact that we play, I mean, we won against them is something big, something special, you know? So it's just the win in general. You had another big block tonight. I remember, uh, I think it was the Jacksonville game. You had a you had a pretty big block too. Just and there's a little flair after it, obviously. But just kind of, uh, how has your overall individual defense improved over this off season? Um, so far, I'm not really proud about the way I'm playing defensively because I'm falling a lot, and I feel like they're scouting me on that because people are trying to drive on me because they, need, they know that I'm the second line that would help. So I just need to be better, work with the coaches. And yeah, for the block, I was mad because I got blocked before, so I had to give it to somebody else and I did, so yeah. 